it is time for another video. So I am experiencing something with my hair that I'm not used to. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to try to treat my hair. So my hair is in a blown out state. Um, <laughs> this is about two weeks, almost two week old hair. And for the past week or so, my scalp has been super itchy, itchy, excuse me. So I know some of y'all are thinking, girl, then wash it. Hear me out. I'm typically a person that doesn't have issues with an itchy scalp. Matter of fact, I can go as long as months. Typically when I have a protective style in, it will last me three months. I never go over three months. Three months, I don't experience an itchy scalp, even at three months. So for this to be like 12 days old hair and my scalp is already itchy, I'm gonna take my bobby pins out. Something's going on. And I mean itchy to where it's like, I had to really go in there and scratch it. So I'm gonna turn around to the back and show you guys exactly where it's itchy yet, which is kind of weird to me. So the crown right here, all the way right here to down here. So just this look, I know y'all are just separated. Just this right here and, and yeah, that part is itchy. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, what can I do? Cause I don't wanna wash my hair. I don't wanna wash it right now. Um, what I would typically do to remedy this is do an apple cider vinegar, um, clarify my hair and, you know, do an apple cider vinegar rinse. And that is what typically helps with an itchy scalp, at least from my experience. I'm not looking to wash my hair right now. I want to give it another two or three days before I have to do that. So, and so I was also trying to think like, why is my hair, why is my scalp? Itchy. Of course, the first thing you would think about is that it needs to be cleansed, right? You have a dirty scalp. I try to think about, okay, am I using any new products? No, I'm still using the same raggedy product. <laughs> I have not switched up my hair regimen. I have not switched up any products. I'm not, I haven't used any new hair products at all. So at the end of the day, the only thing I can think is that the weather is changing here in Phoenix. So the cooler weather must have triggered some itchiness with my scalp, which I'm gonna have to get used to because this is my first winter in a very long time, 16 years. What am I gonna do to alleviate this itchiness temporarily until I can actually have time to wash my hair in like two or three more days? So I don't have tea tree oil. I have peppermint oil, but I don't wanna use peppermint oil. I said I have oil of oregano so all of oregano you guys is something that i have been using off and on for a couple of years i typically add it it's a full grape version by the way um because i like to ingest it meaning that i add it to my mouthwash and i rinse it through really with my mouthwash but there are so many benefits with all of oregano um, you can even use it for eczema, you can use it for rashes, and I'm pretty sure there's tons of other benefits that I'm missing. Another benefit though is with an itchy scalp. Now, all of oregano is one of those um, essential oils which you got to be very, very careful. Um, you got to be very careful with the amount that you use. So, so I have an oil mixture here in an applicator jar. I have my typical oils that I use. Um, everything from sweet almond oil to olive oil, jojoba oil, Jamaican black seed oil. I stopped using coconut oil. Maybe that's what I, maybe that's what I should be going back to. Girl, hell no, um, we're not doing that. So, uh, point being, I only added five drops of the essential oil to this because this is not full. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remedy it. I'm going to focus on that section, but then go around other sections of my hair. So we're going to turn around to the back. Um, just there. Oh, it already feels good. And then I'm going to also go down into the sides here because every now and then it gets a little itchy on the side. Another thing is that I am a back sleeper. I sleep on my back. I don't know if that's part of it. I don't know, y'all. So now I'm going to go ahead and massage. Girl, if I can get to the scalp. I'm just gonna gently massage that oil. What the hell is that? That's another bobby pin. <laughs> gently massage it in. Okay. Okay. So, 
I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. I used a little bit of this all mixture uh, like a couple of hours ago and I can already feel it working. Like my hair, my scalp is not as itchy. So, hey you guys. So I want to come back a few days later. As you can see, it has been a few days and I have not washed my hair. I have managed to um, delay washing my hair for another four days. And when I tell you, baby, my scalp got so itchy. It was driving me crazy. So I ended up purchasing, in, in addition to using the oil mixture with the oregano oil, I purchased this product called Scalp Icin. Scalp Icin. It has 1% hydrocortisone and it also has aloe vera gel. So I use this perhaps like the first, like a day or two, maybe a day and a half. But then I used the hair oil mixture, which I'll show you here again. And I've been using it now. I've been using it right where it itches. And that itchiness has completely subsided. So I say try it out. All of oregano. Just be very careful and dilute it as necessary. But I always like to try and come back and give you guys a follow-up of what I've been doing. And if it actually worked. And with this particular, it did work. But I want to also say disclaimer, I did add this for like a day or two um i used it for four times about four to five times throughout the week but this i've been using almost every day and this is just fenugreek oil fenugreek seed, seed sorry so that is it you guys um with the change of the weather as we have been experiencing all over the u.s um my scalp was like uh-uh no ma'am we're not used to this because it's so dry when I was in Phoenix and we didn't dip down to 40 degrees like this. So that is it. I just wanted to add this bit of information. I hope you guys have a good one. Take care. Bye.